Be sure to do your prince a favor by liking the video and commenting, sweetheart. Oh, sugar, there you are. I was waiting for you. Come here. Give me your hand. Mm. <laughs> Look at you. You're just gorgeous, aren't you? The sight for sore eyes. It's a pleasure to meet you too, honey. I've been starving for a date with you ever since I saw your pretty face. <laughs> hmm? I look different from the pics that I sent you. Well, that's because I'm not that pathetic piece of trash that you thought you were talking to. I'm better. Lucky you. Huh? Nah, honey. That's not a joke. I don't tell jokes. Believe me. I am very serious right now. Oh, come on. You're leaving already, darling. We didn't even get to know more about each other. No, no, don't worry, dear. I'm not going to stop you. My men, on the other hand. <laughs> oh? That caught your attention, huh? Yeah. I said, my men. As in, my bodyguards. As in, a bunch of brutes that would do whatever the hell I tell them to, because I'm paying them. That's what I said. You're right. You're not seeing anyone in here besides us. But my men are spread around the whole park, just waiting for my signal in case something goes wrong. And I have at least two of them in all the exits. So, do you still want to leave, sugar? Yeah. That's what I thought. Follow me. I'll take you to our table. I made sure everything's perfect for today. You are going to love it. Flowers and candles everywhere. Good food and all that jazz. Nice clothes, by the way. You look so damn perfect in red, darling. You'd look better without the clothes, though. <laughs> mm. The color suits you so much that it even looks good on your cheeks. I didn't know that you would be this cute when getting flustered. I'm going to make sure to remember that for later. Who am I? Of course you'd want to know that. Hmm. Let's play a game. Give it a guess, and I'll let you know if you get it right. Answer wrong, and you're mine. For the night? <laughs> oh my. For all the nights, the days, the damn years, if I want. That's the only chance of you getting out of here without me, sugar. Deal? Hell yeah. Let's do this. So, go on. Guess. You want hints. What do I get in exchange? Hmm? Well, of course. That's only fair. You give me something, and I give you something back. Hmm. I want a kiss. On my lips. No hints then. Sorry, honey. Oh, you changed your mind, huh? Are you sure? I won't force you to do anything, sweet thing. <laughs> Okay, come here and give me some love, sugar.
Damn. You really are such a pretty thing. Turn around and get back to your seat now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, darling. But your ass is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. I just had to give it a nice slap. Oh, don't make that face, hon. I'm really sorry. I'm not gonna do it again. I promise. All right. All right. Straight to business. That's how I like it. Here's your tip. I'm a pretty influential person in this city. I can do and give you things that you'd never get by yourself. It would be great for you to keep me on your good side. And I have a lot of contacts. I deal with bad people. Police chief? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, sugar. <laughs> you are, you are so funny. Ooh, wow. Now, I really want to keep you close to me. Ooh, you're attractive. Have a nice ass. And you can tell jokes. That's the complete package. Yeah, you got it wrong. I'm not a police chief. Quite the opposite, in fact. Yes. That means that I get to keep you with me. Now, why don't you come here and sit on my lap? Let me tell you all about myself, since you care so much about that. <laughs> oh, look at you. All cute even when trying to say no to me. Uh, but that wasn't a request. It was an order. Come sit on my lap. I advise you to not make me repeat myself. Good pet. Now, go on. Ask me anything. I know that you are just dying to know who I really am. I'm a mafia boss. The one that dominates this city. And the one that will keep doing it until my dying days. I am basically the owner of this place. So everything that's inside of it... Also belongs to me. Ah, good question, sugar. How the hell did I end up with an interest in you? Well, my men and I were invading this bastard's house one day, since he was from another family, and for some reason he was doing business in my area. We got him, tortured him, and got information out of him. And then we killed him. While I was investigating his phone, I came across your text with him. And I started to text you in his place to see if you would have some kind of useful information about him and his organization. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. In the beginning, I didn't give a damn about you. But then... Well, you were just so intelligent and... Charming and cute that I fell in love. I knew that I had to have you, sugar. I... Well, I never felt this way before. I can't even believe that I'm saying all of this sappy shit to you right now. <laughs> but, um... Anyway... After I checked your background and found out that you weren't involved with any sort of crimes or with that other family, I decided to pursue you. And that's when I asked you out on a date. And now we're here. You're mine, and now that's all that matters. Yeah, I lied about who I was while I was texting. 
So what? That doesn't even come close to the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Relax, love. This isn't that big of a deal. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I basically saved your life. That asshole that you were texting? Yeah, he didn't want anything serious with you. He was actually part of an organization that kidnaps people and sells their organs. Now you're well aware of your future had I not intervened. And I think I deserve something nice as a reward. That's exactly as you heard. I know, it's shocking for someone like you. But that's what happens in the shadows of this city. But don't worry, sugar. I'm here to keep everything under control. And my people are completely safe. So, are you sure that you don't want to be one of my people? No one would ever dare mess with you again. Not if you're by my side. Oh, you poor little thing. You seem scared. Look, why don't we just go to my house, and I can help you calm down with some drinks and a nice massage? I'm very good with my hands, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really giving you another option. You're right. Good to know that you're aware that you belong to me now. Come now, stand up. We can have dinner later. I'm hungry for something else right now. And since you look so goddamn good in red, I plan to mark you in the same color all over that sexy body of yours. <laughs> Sorry, sugar. I said that I wouldn't do it again, but I lied. Oh well, you're gonna get used to that soon. Which one, the speaking or the lies? <laughs> Both. <laughs> now, hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all once more for listening to another one of my audios. I do apologize for the long delay since my last one. However, I was just figuring out a few things, trying to get a few things ready on the back end. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Venowin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, Lunar, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me, be you patron or not. If you're interested in getting audios early, or perhaps not safe for work extras, be sure to check out my Patreon. It'll be in my link tree in my pinned comment down below. If you're interested in checking out any of my other socials, it'll also be there. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mm.